An unstoppable force meets an immovable object. Kanate Saliba, 24, plays 22. Liverpool plays Arsenal. These two centre-backs have been ripping it up in the league. They've had great performances, especially in the games where both sides have played each other. And it's open an interesting debate. Who is the better centre-back, Kanate? Saliba. Hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy, Sonny, that sports guy, talking all things sport. And of course, today we're talking football. Of course, we're talking about Kanate and Saliba because they're two centre backs that could have a rivalry akin to Peyton Manning and Tom Brady. I guess you could say this debate was highlighted in that 1 1 draw at Anfield in the league and then exasperated to a certain extent with that 2 0 win for Liverpool away at the Emirates in the FA Cup. Saliba got man of the match in the league. Kanate got man of the match in the FA Cup. Both Arsenal and Liverpool fans claim that their man is the better centre back. Let's find out who's actually having the better season. Now, if we look at the Premier League, for example, Saliba's played 20 games compared to Canate's 14. But if we look at it per 90, then we can compare the two defenders from a statistical perspective. If we look at the defensive stats, for example, Canate actually beat Saliba in aerial duels 1, aerial duel success percentage, ground duels 1, ground duel success percentage, clearances, interceptions, and of course, blocks. Yeah, you might be looking at the numbers and thinking there's not a lot in it, but these are the tiny fractions that will distinguish who has actually been better. Although their ball recoveries are the same, if we look at how many times they actually lose possession, Saliba is much better. He loses it a lot less often. But the thing is, Saliba is also attempting less long passes forward. If we look at long passes attempted and long pass accuracy percentage, although yes, Kanate isn't as accurate, he's attempted more. You probably think that's going to happen. And he's a lot more progressive in the first phase, attempting more forward pass. And although you might be looking at these stats thinking, hmm, Kanate is better than Saliba. I will caveat with one thing. Some centre-backs are passive. Some centre-backs are more on the front foot. They'll step out the defence, hound their opposition and stick a foot in at the earliest opportunity. And I think Kanate falls into that. We saw that against Arsenal, the way he dealt with Martinelli, Jesus, very easily. He's more of that front foot aggressive type defender, which means that some of these stats may actually play in his favour. If we look at Saliba, for example, who's a lot more passive, they'll hold their position, they'll only get stuck in as much. Probably explains why he isn't making as many tackles. One of the greatest defenders of all time, Paolo Maldini actually spoke about how if he ever made a tackle, he would have failed his job because positioning was more important. Yap Stam, a great defender who was amazing in his time at Manchester United. A reason why he was actually sold was because Man United and Sir Alex Ferguson thought he was losing a step. Now I'm reading a great book called Expected Goals and in that book it talks about how for example, Stam wasn't making as many tackles in his latter years at Manchester United compared to his early years. But the thing is, he was a centre-back that held his position, that read the game so well that he didn't actually need to make as many tackles. If you compare Kanate and Saliba, I think you see the same thing Thing. Saliba isn't making as many tackles, but I think it's because he holds his position well. That doesn't necessarily mean that Kanate is a worse defender because he's making more tackles, but I think the centre backs are slightly different. His tackling ability that he has means that he averages more true tackles per 90 than pretty much anyone else. Now these are tackles plus fouls committed plus challenges lost per 1,000 touches. This is effectively an indication of a player's tendency to stick a foot in. And among centre-backs who have played 500 minutes in the Premier League, he actually sits second behind Marco Sense. Yeah, Canate's remit is to be aggressive in the game and to get the ball back in the game, which means that inevitably there will be probably more mistakes. It is refreshing to see a centre-back have that front foot mindset in him. Now you're going to look at Saliba and think he's not the same, but he's more of a Rolls-Royce defender. He'll hold the line, he'll command that back line, and there won't really be any any problems around him. Last season, he was magnificent. This season, he's also been magnificent. But the rise of Kanata is making people question whether he's on par with Saliba. Now, if we look at careers, I'd definitely give Saliba the edge. Yeah, he's two years younger, but last season was a fantastic campaign for him. I would say he has a higher ceiling than Kanate, but this season, Kanata has emerged from the shadows from Virgil van Dijk and Joel Matip and showed why he has definitely something to give to Liverpool. But inevitably, it comes down to preference. If you're being objective, which centre-back tickles your fancy more? I know for me growing up, there were many centre-backs that I looked up to and thought, wow, the likes of Nesta, for example, Maldini, John Terry, Carlos Puyol, to name a few. But inevitably, this question will only be answered come end of the season, because if Canate does help Liverpool win the Premier League, then it's obvious to say who's had the better season. And inevitably, that sort of response from Canate would mean going into Euro 2024 that Didier Deschamps will probably have to opt for him over William Saliba. Thank you very much for watching, guys. It's definitely an interesting debate, Canate or Saliba. Again, if I had to pick one, it depends which side of the bed I actually sleep on. I mean, canate has got his advantages, Saliba's got his. They're both great centre-back. It depends. You'd probably have to flip a coin, but that coin will inevitably have to be Harvey Dent. As always, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe if you're new to the channel. Follow me on Instagram. Let's have a conversation on there as well. And as always, until next time, peace.